today is our 183rd day of the year. So that means we are literally at the halfway point, especially because it's a leap year. So uh, bravo to you for being here and being on your mat with me. And thank you for practicing with me. We're going to move through a flow practice. We'll build some heat um, and get grounded. So we're going to start in either Vajrasana or Virasana, right? So we sit on our heels, either down on the mat or with a support underneath you, right? So just a little lift there, or you sit on your calf, your calf muscles and your heels like such. Um, again, props underneath your seat if you need them. If that's not accessible for you, just sit crisscross. So we'll start with our mindfulness practice and then we'll move through a pretty steady flow today. Rest your palms facing downwards on your thighs. Roll the shoulders up and back. Just close the eyes. Get focused on our inner awareness. Get grounded in our bodies. So if you're leaning forward here, see if you can pull yourself back a little bit. Draw the shoulders back, draw your chin in so the spine is just going straight up. Have some core support, again, to support the spine. Soften your shoulder blades down your back a little bit here. And bring your awareness to your breathing. Feel the flow of breath cycling through the nostrils. Find stillness in your body. Make sure there's a lightness to that stillness. And simply recognize any sensations that may arise as you breathe. If thoughts pop in and they're consistently popping in, just recognize what they are. Perhaps you can look at them, maybe see them a little differently than your mind keeps taking you to. And if possible, bring yourself back to the awareness of your breath flowing in and out through the nostrils, how it feels in your body, and any sensations that arise, just noting them coming back to your breathing. Soften your brow, start to gaze into the space between your eyes. Look deep into that space. And move your attention down to the throat and into your heart center space. Rest your gaze here. Allow an intention for your practice to float in. And once you found your intention, just before opening your eyes, reconnect with the space where you're sitting right now, where you're getting your practice in. Feel your body get grounded beneath you. Connect to the earth and then gently blink the eyes open. Now let's press up into downward facing dog. So come up onto the hands and knees and press yourself back into downward facing dog. You can pedal it out. Just one knee at a time, pushing the hips back. Let the head get heavy here, hug those elbows back. Let's get connected under the arms, under the hands, under the feet. Just be in your body. What's happening in your body today? Check that your 
The deep core is active here. Hold your dog for a breath. And let's take a step to the top of the mat. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, full forward fold. Ground through your feet, reach out and up to the sky, rise. Exhale, mountain pose. Samasiti, he inhale, reach the arms out and up, lift. Exhale, little bend to the knees as you fold forward, hinge at the hips, let the head drop. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, you're coming to your half fold. Come as high as you need to to open that heart. Exhale, full fold. Ground through the feet. And rise, inhale. Exhale, mountain pose. We'll do that a couple more times. Inhale, half Surya Namaskar A. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, full fold. Ground and rise, breathe in. Exhale, mountain pose. One more half Surya A. And breathe out. Inhale, heart opens, lift yourself, strong center. Exhale, fold. If you have a little more space, you can start to straighten those legs a little more. Inhale, rise, reach to the sky. Exhale, mountain pose. Let's do a couple of Surya A's. Full now. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Breathing in and out through the nostrils. Breathe in, half fold. Exhale, we'll take a chaturanga. We'll take our plank in a little bit. Exhale, go forward. Open your heart, flow into your back bend, top of the feet pushing into the mat, heart opening. Back body is strong, downward facing dog. Push into the mat, get long in your spines. And let's step or float to the top of the mat. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, full fold. Ground and rise to the sky. Exhale, mountain pose. Again, inhale, rise. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift your heart in that half fold. And we step back, take our vinyasa. Strong center, heart opens, chaturanga. Inhale, open into your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath. And step or float to the top of the mat. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, rise to the sky. Exhale, mountain pose. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Sink your hips back. Reach the arms up and breathe. So the weight is more in the heels in our chair pose. But we have all four corners of the feet grounded. Squeeze those inner thighs in. Sink the hips back. Lift the heart. Reach through your fingertips. And we fold forward, exhale. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. And now we take our plank pose. Step it back. And breathe. So this is our 183rd. Well, no, we're doing six days a week. So it's not our 183rd plank of the year. But it's close to it. So minus 26. I'm not doing the math right now. So open your heart, draw your elbows back, push into the mat, and get active throughout your legs. Use those thighs. Use your butt muscles. Get connected to your deep core. So let's open the heart just a little more. Gaze is just ahead of you. Breath is steady here. Take modifications as you need them. Be present with your pose. So are the elbows hugging back? Or are they turning out to the side? Squeeze them back, squeeze into your armpit. And we're gonna come into our forearm plank. So come down to your forearms. Shoulders are gonna go right over 
the wrists here. Make sure your hips aren't too high, but you still wanna make sure you have that full body engagement. So press down into the forearms, draw the elbows back, make sure the gaze is ahead of you. Scoop your navel up to the sky. Breath is steady in through the nostrils, out through the nostrils. Are all 10 toes underneath you? Find that connection to your feet as well. Can you push your heels back without your shoulders moving? Get a little, a little more active throughout those legs. Is your heart open? Still connecting to that center as you do that though. Just a couple more deep breaths here. So let's walk ourselves back into plank. And now press ourselves back. Downward facing, nice work. Take a bend to your knees, push your hips back, let the head get heavy. Take a deep breath, straighten out your legs. And step or float to the top of the mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, ground and rise. Exhale, mountain pose. Nice and strong stance here. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plank pose. Take your vinyasa. Inhale, flow into your open-hearted back bend here. Exhale, downward. Split the right foot to the top of the mat. And we're going to heel toe it to the right. Place the right palm on the inside of that foot. And we come into our lizard pose. So you can hang out here. If you have props, you can put props underneath your forearms. Or come all the way down to your forearms. Squeeze that right hip into the body. Keep your gaze lifted. Use that back leg. Squeeze that thigh up to the sky. Breath is steady. Center is strong. Hug that inner thigh in of that right leg, that front leg. Keep your foot grounded so you're not shifting the weight to the outside of the foot here. Let's come back to the palms if you're all the way down. Step it back to neutral and we flow. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath. Left foot floats to the top of the mat. Step the foot to the left, hand on the inside of that foot, and we come into our lizard lunge here. So find your space. Keep scooping that left hip under you so we're not swinging out to the side. Try to keep the right pelvis forward. Gaze is just past your hands here. Squeeze that thigh up to the sky in the back. Feel that inner right thigh, back leg, squeezing into the center a little bit. Strong core. Breath is steady. Feel the space being created in your body. Let's walk back to palms. Step it back. Take your flow. Downward facing. Deep breath. Right foot floats to the top of the mat. Left heel drops. Virabha draws in at two. Warrior two, windmill the arms up and around, drop down into that lunge. Gaze over the front fingers here. Breathe. Make sure your front knee isn't buckling so it's not turning in. If you have more room, you go deeper into that lunge. Ground through that back leg. And we straighten the front leg. Triangle pose, reach, turn that palm open. Left arm up to the sky. Press into the calf and spin yourself open here. These ribs, if they're dropping, come higher. And if you can, press them down into the bottom ribs so there's length on both sides of your torso here. 
Breathe. If you have more space, you come all the way down. Or you use the support under that hand. Let's windmill back to warrior two and go right into peaceful warrior. Left hand wraps, right arm up, gaze to that back ankle. Stay in your lunge. Draw the hips in towards each other. Breathe into the right side of the body here. Windmill the hands back to warrior two. Straighten out your front leg. We go to the back of the mat. Align your feet. Heel to heel, maybe wider. Drop into the lunge. Verba draws in the two. Breathe. Gazes over these front fingers. Try to find a little bit more space if you have it. Draw those hips in towards each other. Ground through that back leg. Lift your torso so it's tall here as you drop into the lunge. Straighten your front leg, triangle pose, Trikonasana. Reach, turn the palms open, find your space. Spin those right ribs up. Heart is open in this pose. Get grounded through that back leg. Lift up the kneecaps. Use your thighs. Let's so windmill back to warrior two. So bend your front knee, go right into peaceful warrior, grab the back hand, and look down towards that back heel. Let's get a nice opening into the left side here. Come back to warrior two, straighten that leg, and we fuck. Step to the top of the mat. Chaturanga. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath. Right foot steps to the top of the mat, crescent pose, rise up on the ball mounds of that back foot. Hands to the waist. We're gonna lean forward into this right leg, push off. Left foot, uh, left knee crisscrosses on top of the right knee. Bind your foot if you have a bind in your practice. Left elbow under the right elbow. Eagle pose, Garudasana. Sink the hips back, press the elbows forward. Spread the upper back out. Ground. Find a steady gaze point, breathe. Squeeze that left hip into your body if it's swinging out to the side. Maybe you go deeper, bend that standing leg a little bit more. And now we're gonna tra transition, prayer hands and ankle above the knee, standing pigeon pose. Slide that ankle right above the thigh there and start to come forward. So if you're tight here, hands to prayer or support. If you have more space, hands to the mat. Breathe, let the head get heavy, sink your hips back as far as you can. And we're going to flow. So you can step back from here and just step back right into your chaturanga or you can uh, come out of the pose and step back. So you can reach, kick it back, chaturanga. Inhale, heart opens, exhale. Downward facing. Deep breath. Left foot floats to the top of the mat. Crescent pose, rise up. Hands to the waist, lean forward. Get grounded, find your gaze, push off. Right knee on top, maybe you bind. Right hip into the body, right elbow under. Crisscross clap, sink your hips back, breathe. So we're spreading the shoulder blades out, pressing the elbows forward. Stay connected to your breathing. Mm. 
Or are you grounded through that standing leg? Push down into the mat, lift your torso. Connecting to the center, we're gonna slide that foot right over the knee, ankle above the knee, hands to prayer, standing pigeon, hands to the mat. Let the head drop. Sink your hips back. Good. Or stand now, hands to the mat, or come out of the pose and step back. Work. Exhale, chaturanga. <laughs> Inhale, cobra or upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath. Right foot to the top of the mat, left knee drops. So we're going to keep the left palm planted, turn to the right, and bend the back knee. This is where a strap comes in handy for some of you. Draw that foot into the hip and start to spin around. So spin the right ribs up and around. Push this back knee away from you. Feel the quads drawing forward on that back leg. And release. We take a flow. Step it back. Chaturanga. Inhale, heart opens. Find your back muscles when you come into your back bend, downward facing dog. Left foot floats to the top of the mat, right knee drops, and we spin around. Right palm plants, draw the heel into the hip, spin yourself around. Back knee pushes away from you, heart opens here, float yourself open. Quads forward. And release. One more flow. And then we don't have to do that anymore today. Exhale, chaturanga. Unless you decide to do more practices. Open your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Child's pose. Sink the hips back. Take your arms. Reach. Touch your fingertips to your shoulders. Walk the elbows forward, push into the backs of the arms here, breathe. Slow it down. Get grounded in your body. Just check in with how you're feeling, how your body's feeling. Maybe lengthen the breath a little bit. And reach the arms up overhead. Let's come up onto the hands and knees. And swing ourselves around. So we're going to either grab a rolled up towel, blanket, whatever you have, or a block. And then have a second one for your head. And we're just going to take our supported fish pose here. So drop back onto your support. So it's at the bottom of your shoulder blades and going upwards between your shoulder blades. And then you take the other support and place it underneath the back of your head. Let's take a Supta Baddha Konasana here, soles of the feet together, knees out the side. And just let the body drop over your support. Oh, this feels so good. So feel that opening across the front body. Make sure you're even and balanced. Soften your hips and groins. Have some support in the abdomen. We are in a little back bend here. But also feel the belly rising and falling as you breathe. Mm -hmm. 
Let the arm bones get heavy, feel the heart opening. Let's draw the knees together, rest the knees against each other, and walk your feet wide apart. Let's have those thighs turn in. And let's walk the feet together, roll off of your supports, move them out of the way, let's make our way onto our backs. So, knees in, a little final twist here in both directions, over to the right, press that left hip down, and back to center, over to the left, press that right hip down. And back to center. Shavasana. Prop yourself under the knees or the head if you need it. Give your body space. Close your eyes. Let go of your breath. Allow the breath to flow on its own. You've done the work. This is the surrender part of the practice. So allow your body to completely let go. Do a body scan. Check in with anywhere there's activation and soften. Drop your gaze into the third eye space, right between your eyes. Deep behind the eyes, look into the space. Rest your attention here and just be open. Let yourself go for another few moments. Bring your awareness back to your breathing. Come back to your body. Start to wake the body, wiggling the fingers, wiggling the toes. Arms up over the head, stretch it out. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock back and forth gently, keeping your eyes closed. Make your way to your side into fetus position. And press yourself up to seated. Feel all of that energy flowing through you. Let's sit tall, take your palms to prayer, seal all of that wonderful work you just did in between your hands. Thumbs to the sternum, draw the chin in, bow the head forward and bow down to your commitment to your well-being. Honor yourself for doing the work, for being on your mat, for getting your practice in. Bow down to your heart and your light. Always bring that to your mat with you. Honor that space within all beings. And let us send a collective prayer of peace to the world from that space. May all beings experience peace. And take a moment to express gratitude for three things in your life.
Inhale that back to center. Have a blissful remainder of your day. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. Today I have angel cards. <sighs> Let's see what they have to say. Number one. Oh, I like that. Simplicity. Number two, play. <laughs> and number three, openness. Nice. Nice little grouping today. Bring all that energy with you into your day. I will see you back for more tomorrow. Bye.